It is a beautiful Mother's Day here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. So yeah, I'm going to meet David today. Don't know where the hell we're going to go ride. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Do me a favor. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. It's free for you and it kind of helps me. If you ride a motorcycle, you know that your weekends can kind of, you know, just happen. It's sometimes you have stuff planned. I mean, if you're like me, sometimes we have stuff that we have literally planned out. And this is what we're going to go do this weekend. We're going to go ride here. We're going to go do this. Sometimes shit just happens. And you end up having these really cool experiences, visiting cool places, seeing interesting stuff. At least I hope that's what you're doing when you're out riding your bike. So today's video is going to be that. I'm going to show you a quick like montage of the riding and the things that I've done the past couple of weekends that just kind of happened. Hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy it. There we go. Sambuco Lunch Lab. And the Zambuco Barber Company. There's my girl. There's Todd's girl. That was Vinny's girl back there. There's Tim's. A decent amount of people show up today considering how much how the weather was this morning in the past couple of nights. There's old Adam. How are you, bud? In case you're wondering what we're riding past right now to the left there, this entire time we're going to be passing what is the largest commercial greenhouse east of the Mississippi River in the United States. This is Metrolina Greenhouse, and uh, I actually know the people that own it. it it's, it's a very vast facility, and I did not do a good job of capturing just how far it reaches out to the left. You really can't see it from the road, but you can, you know, kind of get an idea of it. So I just thought that was interesting. We rode by on the Zambuco lunch lap. We ended up going by Metrolina Greenhouse, which is always kind of cool. So yeah, that was the lunch lap, and uh, you know, if you're interested in attending it, go to Facebook, look up Sambuco Barber Company if you're in the Charlotte metro area or if you're close to striking distance of here. Uh, they put posts out that tell you when the lunch lap is going to happen. It's actually a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool freaking uh, vibe, and it's a pretty cool group group of people. So I suggest you, you know, 
hook up with them if you, you can. It all supports the Old Town Revival. Uh, the day before that ride, Juan and I had gone out to Rick Rack. That, that was the video that you saw maybe a couple of releases ago. Juan and I had gone out to Rick Rack, and on that day, I let Juan ride the bike because uh, I wanted him to get a feel for it. And I wanted to feel his after the Stage 2 upgrade he got done. David and I right now are riding past homes with people that have way too much money. But uh, these properties are beautiful. <laughs> In a few minutes, you're going to actually see us ride by the Hells Angels Clubhouse that's in South Carolina. Uh, I'd be interested to know, drop it down in the comments, how many of you guys have 1% uh, clubs in your area? And, uh, you know, does it cause you any issues? I've never had any, I've never had a negative experience, is a good way to put it. Um, it's not something that's for me. I wouldn't do it, but it's it's. I've never had a negative experience with the people that I've that I've met that are part of those organizations, and I know a few of them. Um, but yeah. So David and I are getting ready to ride by the Hell's Angels Clubhouse. second you're going to see the Hells Angels Clubhouse. We end up at this place called uh, the Pump House, which is in South Carolina. It's just across the state line from North Carolina, and it's a really cool bar. It, it really is. It's an old, it's an old pump house, and they've turned it into a bar and restaurant. So if you're ever in the area, I suggest you check it out. But it was a cool, it was a very cool destination to go to. It was a very cool ride. guys are getting out and riding. It is freaking mid-May, so everybody should be able to get out on their bikes by now. Hope you're getting out there, putting on some miles, and hope you're having fun and hanging out with your friends. I really do. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah.
Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>